I know you guys have been waiting for some home updates and I finally have some updates to share with you guys. But before we get into that, I have some new in pieces from Nasty Gal. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, welcome to Park Avenue, and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. You can have a look at some of my other playlists, outfit ideas, unboxings, and when you find something you like, please be sure to subscribe and make sure you guys are turning on those notification bells so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. So in today's video, I have some home updates that I cannot wait to share with you guys. If you're new here, I am a first time home buyer. My fiance and I have purchased our very first home and we are renovating it pretty much completely. And if you wanna check that video out where you can see some of what we did in the earlier stages, then I'll link that video here in the cards. You can check that out. Um, but yeah, so today I'm gonna share some updates with you guys. But before we get into the home updates, I have some really cute new in pieces from Nasty Gal that I also wanna show you guys, especially because I know you guys love the Nasty Gal hauls. And if I have a coupon code to share with you guys, I'll leave it in the description box. So make sure you guys check there. I'll have all the sizing information and links to all the items for you guys. And I'll also link to some other pieces from the website that are super cute right now because you guys sell these pieces out so quick. Every time I post one of these hauls, everything is going super fast. So I'll try to link some other pieces as well that I think are really cute that you guys might need to be thinking about adding to your uh, summer wardrobe because summer's literally around the corner. Now, before I show you guys the pieces from Nasty Gal, it is time for today's Instagram shout out. And today I wanna shout out TP on underscore loves fashion. She said, love the look. What a way to elevate it with a scarf. My niece teases me all the time about wearing scarves with my outfits, but in my opinion, they are a classic staple and can jazz up any outfit. Keep the looks coming, Ashley, you rock. And I love that comment because the scarf that I was wearing in the photo, I got from Zara. And honestly, I had the scarf for a little bit a little bit of a while before I actually wore it. And it's just been fitting so perfect with a lot of my outfits, especially because I've been loving the color purple now, like more of a lilac shade. Love, love, love. So the scarf was super cute and it is a really great way to elevate your looks. You can add it around your neck like I was doing in the photo if you guys wanna see. Head to my Instagram and check it out. But I could also wear it like on um, the side of my bag. I I've shown you guys that before as well. So you probably have already seen it. But if you're new here, head to my Instagram and check out that photo. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna like that because you know, we're like same, same. So head over there and check it out. I have the link to my Instagram in the description box. Now here are the first couple pieces that I wanna show you guys. And this is a set and we love a set. This one is a sweatsuit, but it's not just a basic average sweatsuit. This one is definitely gonna be the one you wanna wear where you wanna give a look, very cute. And you can definitely elevate this a ton. What I like about this one is it's very comfortable. The material is very comfortable, it's stretchy, you know, like a sweatsuit. And it does have a real adjustable waist. Sometimes these kinds of sets, sometimes they don't have a real adjustable waist and this one does. It's nice and high waist, it fits really well. And all I did was tuck in the strings because I didn't want them just hanging. I feel like it kind of took away from the look. So I just tucked them in so you couldn't see them. The pants are very long, long enough that I was able to wear a heel with them. This is about a three, almost four inch heel. It might even be four inches. I'll double check, but I was able to wear a high heel with this and be very comfortable. And it was like perfect length. And I'm about five, six for reference. So keep that in mind. Very comfortable. I do like the front slit that it has because then you can really show off your shoes. Um, very cute, love this all around. And then the top is cropped. One thing I wanna tell you guys about this top is that the slit under the arm is very deep. What I would have liked to do is wear like a bandeau under it, but I didn't have one. So I'm gonna have to pick one up so I can wear this top the way I want to, the, the way I envisioned it in my mind. Or a cute little bralette. That would have been cute because it has the wider band on the side, like a bandeau. So if you have either one of those, that'll be perfect. And it is very deep slit underneath. So just keep that in mind. And it also has shoulder pads, this top. And what's great about the shoulder pads is that it creates a balance. So if you're very hippie like me, um, then it'll like accentuate the fact that you have a smaller waist and just balance you out with your hips. I like that the crop is a nice length. It's not too short. It kind of meets the pants. Like it just shows like a, just a little sliver. Overall, very cute. And if you wanna do too much like I did, then you could throw on some really oversized shades and some bold gold hoops and call it a day. But if you wanna do a little bit more of an understated look, you can do maybe a post earring, something a lot simpler, and maybe a smaller sunglass, not these huge giant oversized ones like me. But if you're doing too much like I'm doing too much, then girl, you're doing enough. 
Here's the next piece I wanna show you guys, and it is this oversized button-up shirt, but this one has a spin on it because it has the paisley bandana print on it, and it also has almost like a patch work because it has the different colors shot through it in, in actual like blocks, and I really like that. A very fun top. It actually feels really nice on the skin. The fabric is uh, very cooling, and it's really nice for this time of year because it is so hot out or it's warming up. I really like that. And if you watch my channel, then you see button-up shirts a lot. I style them very often. And I do like the oversized ones because, first of all, I tell you guys all the time that you don't have to worry about it pulling or gaping over your chest, especially if you are larger busted. And I just feel like you can do a lot more with the oversized ones because if you're wearing them um, for dressy occasions or casual occasions, you can, you know, mix them up and wear them slouchy or tuck them in completely. You can get a lot of looks out of them. And this one is a lot of fun. So I just decided to throw on a denim skirt and some heels here. But you can easily wear this with a pair of pants. Um, you can wear it like half tucked into a pair of shorts. I love that look. I love an oversized button-up shirt with a pair of shorts. And then I just pushed up the sleeves and threw on a pair of sunglasses and called it a day. So a very easy outfit and a lot of fun. And you can let the shirt do all the talking here because it is a print and it's colorful. It's doing a lot. So you don't want to do too much with the other pieces. Next up is this really gorgeous slip dress. This color was so beautiful. I really loved it. I like the sheen on the fabric. And these slip dresses, this, this style is very flattering for all body types, especially for curvy girls because it just skims the body in the best way. And I do love the fact that it had the cow neck, very drapey uh, in the bust, very flattering. Again, super cute. And it did have a ruche like tie side. Um, you can, so you can like tie it and make it shorter or longer, but it was a slanted sort of a cut. So keep that in mind when you are like styling it, but very cute. And the straps were adjustable, but they also were stretchy. So that could really help with as far as like comfort. Um, if you're worried about that, like worried about straps, like digging into you or anything like that. But also if you struggle like me with straps falling down, I don't know if I have short shoulders or what the deal is, but I often have to get straps shortened. Um, uh, but because these were stretchy, when I pull them like to the tightest length, they just fit me really nicely, but not too tight. I was able to like move around. So I like that about it. A very nice color. I think the color was my absolute favorite part of it because it just was just so beautiful. And this color is so flattering on lots and lots of skin tones. So this is going to be great on you. Here's the next piece. And this piece is a perfect little like throw one and go type of a thing. I like this because it has a sheen. It's a cropped fit. You can ruche up the sleeves and the color. I love this color. Yellow is so gorgeous. Again, another color that's really universally flattering. But I like it because it's easy to just throw on with a tank top and jeans like I'm showing you guys right here. And the jacket is doing all the work. The jacket is like the star of the show. But very easy, comfortable, and you could just like keep it with you as far as if you want to dress up like a tank top and jeans like I'm showing you. If you want to dress up something like this, and let's say you were going out for drinks, the jacket, you just throw that on and you're super cute and a little bit warmer because it could be super chilly inside of these, um, you know, restaurants. So... Very cute, and the sheen is really nice, so it adds a little something to the outfit. And one feature about this uh, crop jacket is that, well, it's more like a crop blazer, really. It's not a jacket. It's just a very lightweight blazer. And a cool thing about it is that it has uh, the ties on the sleeves, so it did help keep the sleeves up. I just tied it and then pushed my sleeves up, and they stayed in place. So that was really nice um, because a lot of times when I have, like, uh, when I just, like, push up my sleeves, I have to, like, fold it and maneuver it all kinds of crazy ways to keep it up, but it kind of had its own built-in tie so I was able to just push it up and wear it comfortably okay so here are the next couple of pieces that I want to show you guys and this top I loved it's denim and it has that voluminous sleeve that I absolutely am obsessed with very cute and it also has the way like the stitching is it also has a corseted style waist so it really nips you in very flattering it's cropped so I decided to wear a high waist jean with this but I really like this top a lot the neckline has a distressed um like finish it's like a little bit shredded. Very cute. I love this top. And I do plan to wear it with some other looks. I'm going to see how I'm going to style it for you guys in some upcoming videos. But I really like this top a lot. I love the color. It's just easy to pair with a lot of things. And the fit was really nice. And the denim is substantial. So I thought that was really great. 
And the way I styled it here was just with some high waist jeans and a pair of sandals that I want to show you guys as well. These sandals are from Nasty Gal and they're giving me like a Bottega vibe. Very easy to wear, very comfortable. The color is another, it's just a great neutral here. So just what went well with this outfit. But overall, really love this, a very fun look. And then again here, I wanted to do the most with these oversized shades and my hoop earrings. Love it, a lot of fun. And then I just threw on this Louis Vuitton. This is one of my um, toiletry pouches, but a lot of people do wear them as handbags, especially if you have the larger size. So you can just throw that on and you know run around town or grab some drinks. Very cute. You could switch out the sandals for a heel if you wanted to do that as well. So I'll link um, some Nasty Gal heels in the description box for you guys, just in case you want to do a heel with this outfit instead of a flat. Now here's the last piece that I have for you guys, and it's a blazer. You know I love a blazer, so I had to go with this one. This co color is really beautiful. It's like a periwinkle. It has like a blue undertone. Very cute, I love this color. And the fit was really nice, it was just oversized, so I was able to just push up the sleeves and wear it really relaxed. But this is a blazer that I'm wearing casually here. But if you guys wanted to dress it up a little bit and wear it into the office, that would be perfect. That's why I love blazers. The cool thing about this one is the color is very, very gorgeous, I love that. So again, I just push up the sleeves. I'm wearing a white tank, a white camisole underneath, and I wore it with some loose fitting jeans and sandals, perfect. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, it is time to share with you guys some home updates. I have been telling you guys that I was gonna share some updates with you guys and I'm excited that we have made some progress. We are almost completely finished with the kitchen. <laughs> and we have been almost completely finished for a while, but there are a lot of little things that you don't realize that you have to do after like remodeling your entire kitchen. But we made some really, really good progress and we're almost there, so check this out. So, this is the kitchen. Now, look at the kitchen. The kitchen is kind of it's kind of small. I, um, it was some cabinets right here. I took them down, took them down, and then the countertops. I took them down. This is that door going to the dining room. Now, look how tiny this is. No way, we cannot have that. You know, it's not as open concept as we wanted, but with this door being open a little wider. That'll make the, the space feel a little bigger. So remember this door, this opening right here. Um, Ashley, she wants a farm, a farm, a farmhouse sink, right? But right now it's not in the budget. But little do she know, I'm still gonna get her the farmhouse sink. All this is trash. We gotta take all this out. And I hate this little thing behind the sink, right? I hate it. So we're gonna do like a large countertop cut this wall down right so it's level with the countertop and give her a nice farmhouse sink with the bar extended out behind this little wall right here have no idea why they made this kitchen like that hate it hate it hate it hate it kitchen update the last time i showed you guys the kitchen we had cabinets i think and countertops so now we got the range head over the stove. It looks really good, you guys. I'm really happy with it. We got the full tile in now. Which is making smoothies, so we got all our supplies out, but that looks so cute, right? And then we decided that we were gonna take the tile all the way across. That's the entryway into the dining area. We decided we we're gonna take the tile all the way across. It's really white, so I don't know if you could tell. Winston is doing like some caulking. And then this is how it looks. Really cute. So this is how it looks, really cute. These are all of our smoothie supplies. The kitchen is really white, but I'm gonna get, um, you know, like hand towels. I got a couple. I wanna try like some waffle knit ones or the waffle weave ones. They're really cute, so I like those. I'm gonna do like a gray, maybe like gray and white. I was gonna, I don't wanna, obviously the kitchen is white so I need to add a little bit of color but I don't wanna go crazy because we're gonna keep everything really neutral. But I'm loving this. And then once we get it all cleaned up, after you finish all the cooking, it's gonna look really, really good, so. And a really quick health update. You guys know I've been talking about having to drop a couple pounds so me and Winston, we're gonna be doing like a smoothie. We're trying to do, as we're trying to go as long as we can with just having smoothies like for breakfast and then having like light meals throughout the day so anyway we got a couple of things how are you guys doing on your journey what's going on this is only day two so by the time you guys see this this is just day two 
All right, here's the kitchen from a different angle. We also got the cabinets put in on top of the refrigerator. I love that. And I think Gizmo's food bowl is going to live over there. This kitchen, I mean, it, it wasn't thought out with like a dog in mind. So I struggled with where I was going to put the food bowl. But anyway, it's going to live over there. You guys can see it right there. And then this is our fridge. So I'm thinking, I'm, I want to be like more thoughtful about what we like tack onto the fridge. Right now, we just putting stuff up there, but we'll figure that out. And then as you can tell right here, this baseboard has to go up. So it's not finished. And then he's going to put another panel right here on this side. So it could look more finished, but this is how it's coming along. And then, you know, you can see like the tape. So things is still, it's still under construction, but it's a lot further along than it was. And I'm really in love with it. All right, so now that I showed you guys the kitchen, the rest of the house, I mean, the kitchen is still under work, but the rest of the house is seriously still under construction. Okay, so as you can see, we have to put lots of things. This is gonna be like the little breakfast nook area. And we have to put a lot of things in here while Winston's like cooking around the room. And then um, we had, you know, guys come and do like, they. we wanted somebody to come and spray to make sure that we had like a barrier around the house for bugs, like pest control, things like that. And we live, where we live now, as you can see, there's like woods in the back. So we gotta make sure we keep the critters at bay. <laughs> we don't want them in the house. So we, you know, we have to move everything to like the corners of the room and then to the center of the room. And then Winston is also um, still doing work with the trim and everything like that. So we have to just basically move things around in every room. And remember I told you guys that the, this right here is the um, laundry room, which is a little quirk about this house that I really don't love. Um, and I was originally gonna do like a little table here or something like that, but instead, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do like a bench, maybe a build out, maybe if I can find a bench that already exists in this shape, we'll see how it goes. But I want to have my coffee station over here. It's gonna be in this area. And then this will just be like a cute little nook area where I can sit, drink my coffee and just relax. And Gizmo loves to sit on benches and look out the window. So him and I will just be chilling over there. And I couldn't do like a real, like a table or anything like that because okay. the doors are here for the laundry. And then of course, I'm gonna get some stools for here. So now that we have the counters and stuff done, I could go find some stools. And y'all, I was looking for some stools last night. I mean, well, I've been looking for stools since we moved here. But I think I decided I want something with no back. <laughs> These are all the boxes that were previously just in, the, in this room over around the corner. But I want something with like no bag so that we like a low profile and that way we can just have the counters like continue. You know, it's just a straight clean line. I really want that. So we'll see. And I think this plant is gonna live here. You guys remember Oscar from the apartment? He's our tallest plant. This is one of his descendants. <laughs> I think this is son, right? No, I think that, no, this is a completely different plant. This is when oh, I this got this. Remember what I, um, I got? Oh, the when you split the, the, two, the one that you split into two? This one, I got the free ones from Home Depot. Yeah, but it wasn't the one that you split into two? It, they, yeah, it was a bundle of three. They both had three, and then I saved one from each. Oh, you got, how could I? I can't minimize my accomplishments. I painted these ones by myself. Can you guys tell? Painting is actually, now I feel like painting is actually one of my least favorite things. I actually hate it. Hey, you ready? turn on the lights. Oh, there we go. She a little slow. But as y'all can see, we got the lights um, hooked up to Siri. We, our goal is to have this house be a smart house. Siri is here. Turn off the lights. Siri is here. Turn on the lights. So eventually the whole house will be able to do that. We got the bedroom like that. Um, the studio has to get fixed up like that. And then um, he has to do some other tweaking. But yeah, back to my doors. I painted these doors. They look great. Eventually, we're going to replace the doors completely, but for now, to save some money and time, I just want to paint them. But painting is not one of my favorite things to do. And whenever we sell this house and we move, I'm not painting ever again. So that's that on that. And then these screens. Look at these screens. You see, uh, can you tell? I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but we got to get all the screens replaced. And if I had it my way, I would get all the windows replaced as well because I hate these divider pane things. I just think, why would you want to break up a beautiful big window? But anyway, we'll see how that goes. And I wanted those blinds that were automatic that could come, you know, up and down. You could put on a timer. But those are pretty expensive. And since we have to do so much work, maybe that's something we'll do um, next year because there are a lot of windows in this house. 
And some of them are big, so I'm, I'm wondering if like maybe some of them have to be custom or whatever like that. But that's another project. And then we also have the yard, which we're not even gonna worry about. We just decided we're not gonna worry about right now. We're gonna like obviously keep it in uh, the back of our mind, and we're gonna talk to a landscaper and see what needs to be done. What's the what are the possibilities of this yard? But there's a lot to do. I don't even know if you can see. But you guys saw the yard. If you want to see the video where I showed you guys the yard while I was back there, then check out that video. Well, you can't really tell, but this is another angle of how where the conversation is going to be. Pretend all these paintings are not there. I actually ordered a, a bar from West Elm, but it's on back order until June, which I didn't realize was going to happen when I ordered it. They told me it was just slightly on back order, but then I got an update saying it's not going to come out until June. So... I don't know. Hopefully that'll work out. But my idea is the coffee station is going to, it's going to be a coffee bar. I keep saying coffee station, but I want to call it a coffee bar. It's going to be so cute. I'll put like a picture or something if I could um, show you guys the one that I want and I'll link it so you guys can check it out too. It's really cute. I think it's going to work, but of course I don't know until it gets here. Um, but yeah, I want to have it like all decked out and then I want to get the Nespresso uh, Breville or the Breville Nespresso machine. I told you guys about that in my luxury, when we did like a luxury wish list when I went live with you guys. I told you guys about that a while back. And like sometime in the, like when the new year started, I did that video. I'll link it in the cards if you want to check it out. But the machine actually went on sale for like $150 off at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I missed it. So I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to wait because I didn't want to get it. And then I had no place to put it because even though we have more counters now, like you can see we have more counter space and everything like that now, but... I don't want to just have a bunch of stuff on the counters once we get organized. So I didn't want to order it and the coffee bar doesn't work out. So I want to get the coffee bar and then make my plans from there. But yeah, it's going to work out. Everything's going to look cute. So once the kitchen is done, then we're going to move into the living room. I mean, we've been, Winston has been working on other pieces, like other caulking and other floor baseboards and things like that, painting throughout the house. But once we get done with the kitchen, then we can move on to the other rooms. Um, I gotta show you guys the bathroom because that's almost done as well. But I need a lot of stuff. Like, once the actual construction is finished, I need a lot of things like towels. We need, um, like floor mats. We need, you know, decorative things, but that'll be afterwards. I just want to focus on getting the house organized and getting the place, like, fixed. <laughs> but yeah, so, so far, so good. Honestly, when we first started using this dishwasher, it was so quiet, we thought it was broken. <laughs> it was brand new and we thought it was broken. But it's really quiet. I really love it. And to be honest, the refrigerator actually makes more noise. When it makes the ice, you hear it like humming and mumbling and grumbling. So that's kind of funny. The house actually makes a lot of noise too. Not a lot, but you know, my grandmother used to say that house is settled. Like, you know, when it gets real quiet, you hear like a little creak or, a, or something or a noise you can't explain. It's the house settling. Who knows? But anyway. Yeah, so that's the kitchen. And I will keep you guys posted on, you know, future updates. But this is what it is. Gizmo left that bottle there. What are those? <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I am so excited to make more progress in this house. And I want to like get the closet room complete. We got the yard to take care of. We have, um, we actually are doing the steps over everything. So we do have a lot more to take care of. And, but I think up next, I'm going to have the final reveal of the master bathroom. So stay tuned for that. I am waiting for a couple more pieces um, that I want to have when I show you guys the um, final look of the bathroom. So stay tuned. And don't forget, check out those new pieces that I showed you guys from Nasty Gal. Check the description box for links and the coupon codes and all that extra information. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, then check the description box as well. I have the link to all the platforms you guys can follow me on. Pinterest, um, Instagram. You can check out my Facebook group. And also keep an eye out for closet sale updates because that is coming pretty soon as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh.